Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to do a little Mercari Japan haul. Yay! Um, it's been a while since I've got one of these. Uh, I couldn't tell you when because I have the memory of a goldfish apparently when it comes to these kinds of things. Um, but I hadn't placed an order on Mercari Japan like a while and I started a new package in like November, December, so yes, very excited to have this here today. This video, I think we'll have Exo, Fremis, and Billy, and that's, oh no, there's one, there's one Boy Next Door card, um, but those are like the main three groups, so yeah, that's about it for today. Um, I already took everything out of like the main packaging besides sleeves and top loaders just to reduce some of the pain in the assness of opening things. Um, so let's just get into it. Starting off, I got a few albums today. Um, so I did actually buy one album for sake of my album collection. Um, I bought From Us's From Nine album. This was one of the last two albums outside of Kino's that I was missing for them. Like Kino's, not so important to me because they don't have any kind of photo book. So yeah, I'm mostly focusing on these kinds of albums in terms of back collecting. Um, the last one I need now is the Red Two Day album. I don't know if that's D1 or D Day, but yeah, that's the last one I need now. And honestly, From Us albums in general have been decreasing in price, in my opinion. I feel like like all their older albums used to be pretty expensive and hard to find, and they're becoming more and more common, which is really nice. So big fan of that. But this one did come with this Shibuya Tower Records group card, which is kind of cute. And then the uh, mini poster. And then besides that, it didn't come with any other inclusions, but I don't need any, so it doesn't really matter to me. But I'm just really happy to have this album. This is one of my favorite of all their album photo shoots. And, you know, <laughs> if you're channel biased, um, you get it because orange haired Chang, Change lives, actually. So, yeah, very happy that this album will now be a part of my collection. So, yay! And then, I did get another album that I was not expecting to get. Uh, this was one of those situations where a Mercari seller just like fobs off an album they don't want secretly onto you. <laughs> um, not my favorite thing that happens, but you know, extra exist album for me to rip up at some point, I guess. Um, I bought this album though for. This John Day card, um, I believe this is the X version. So this is his X version card. And then it also came with his um, Linty. Um, I just bought it, I thought I was just getting these two and it was like a pretty good deal. So I was like, okay, this is fine. The Linty is a little bit unnerving when it's like half and half. Um, <laughs> but maybe we'll, maybe we'll just turn that over. <laughs> um, yeah, I figured that was like a good deal, but now I see that it came with this huge ass album, so that's cool. It didn't seem to really affect my shipping price though, so I'll take it, I guess. And now finally we can get into my stack of photo cards and such. So for this first bundle, I got three of Chang's um, Unlock My World album cards. So first up we have this one from Not Yet Version. Um, working on her album cards was really important to me because <laughs> I didn't have any of them and it was really bad. Um, this one is from uh, Reality and then this one is from Reality as well. So yeah, that was that was good of me. Um, this next set is some Billy cards um, for side B. So we have this um, QR card from the, I guess the purple version. I don't remember if they have names or not, but you get the idea, I'm sure. Um, and then we have this selfie card, which I'll put right there. And then this one, so pretty. I love her blonde hair so much. I'm honestly like very highly considering getting a few paws for this era next time I open a package because um, I just love the blonde so much. <laughs> Um, I do then have Jisun's mini card for Not Yet, which completes that set for me, which is really great. 
Um, and then this one, I kept the note on it because I thought it was so cute. You look at that. <laughs> um, but then I also have her other mini card for the reality version, which I did need. And now all of my mini card sets will be complete. I am once again very highly considering um, back collecting all the, or dupe collecting all the Cheon cards that I have in OT9 and OT8 sets. Like, I know it's excessive, but I also know that now it's kind of bothering me that they're missing <laughs> since they're not like incorporated into my collection in the same way. And I don't really know what to do with that feeling um, except for to back collect them. But then it's like, what if some of them I can't find? Like I imagine like getting the Midnight Guest mini plated photo or maybe like the, um, the From Us Day Polaroid and like some things like that might be kind of a pain in the ass. So yeah, I'm not really sure on that one, but I'm I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> um, but here I have another Jisun album card from Unlock My World. Um, this one is Imagine. She will go right there. Yee! Um, and then I have the last Haram card I needed for side B, which is really bomb. Um a bit random, but I am, I don't know, I haven't been so active on Instagram over the past, like, few months, TBH, uh, which I feel kind of bad about, but I'm, like, very into, like, <laughs> Hong Kong Star Real stuff right now, and it's just sort of, like, like, it's just, like, my, my main interest of the moment, so I don't really focus on anything else, um, so that's led to me being less active. Um, this is another reality card. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel bad, but I also am like, what am I to do? Like, this is just what I'm into at the moment. <laughs> and it's not like I want to make, like, gaming content or something. Like, ew. Um, <laughs> but I also, like, just have... Like, my groups are not very active. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, like, I just don't have comebacks happening or anything. So there's nothing really, like for me to talk about kind of so I don't really know what to do about that but um that's a little update for you um I do have two Chaeyoung Imagine cards um yeah I'm in like gotcha hell for some reason I I'm really interested also in Wuthering Waves which is a game that's like upcoming not out yet um which like I don't know how I feel about open world games to be honest because to me that sounds like a pain in the ass um this is Chang's not yet kino card um i don't know i find open world to be kind of annoying i want like my story quests to be good and i want like fun combat but having to like explore to me is kind of annoying so i'm not sure but i absolutely love the weathering waves character designs like oh my god they're just like really fucking cool they're kind of like Techwear inspired, I guess, and I think that they're really, really cool, and I'm just really interested in everything I'm seeing about it. And then I'm also interested in the up big upcoming Hoyo game, um, CCZ. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just I'm very distracted by things of this nature at the moment, and I'm even like into watching streamers now. So I don't know what is going on with me, but I'm just, I'm off somewhere else. I'm I'm in another world right now and it just is what it is. If you see me on Twitter being annoying, obsessing over new character drip marketing, like, you know what's going on. <laughs> um, I have this just on Topic and Talk card, which completes my Talk and Talk set, which is really fun. Um, if you play um, Star Rail or interested in those upcoming games, <laughs> let me know. Especially let me know who your Star Rail main is. Um, <laughs> I have this Beckham Obsession card, which is so pretty. Like, stop. We do love to see it, actually. Um, uh, my main is Argenti, Tihim, <laughs> and Jinglu. Um, yeah. And then we have this Beckham Don't Fight the Feeling card which wah, also completes my set so yay i don't know why he's okay <laughs> very girly pop of him i am very obsessed with the what is, is it inb 100 um his company like taking cbx 
obsessed with all like how busy he's become so quickly having his own like Asia tour and stuff um the Asia tour is honestly pretty extensive like he's going to a lot of countries and cities that I feel like most groups don't really go to um and just like the rate of progress which with things are going I'm really optimistic that we'll get another solo album for him soon and then <laughs> hopefully also we'll extend his tour into at least North America um because if he does a lot of cities like he did for his Asia tour um <laughs> there would be a much higher chance of me going and I would really really love to at least see one EXO member in person <laughs> um so you know let's manifest <laughs> um I do also have Chanyeol's um, X version card, uh, which is really, really cute. And that also completes my Chanyeol set. Um, and then I have this Chanyeol Obsession Kino, which was a really exciting purchase for me. Um, these cards, I honestly like thought would be significantly harder for me to obtain for top two, um, but they ended up being not that bad to find for a decent price, which I'm really happy about, and I think Chanyeol's is really, 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 really cute. I, like, the turtleneck pulled up over his mouth is so unserious, and the ears, we love to see it, like, we really do. <laughs> um, so, big fan of that. Um, and then I think this is Beckhan's mini card for Exist, um, which is really silly. <laughs> I did pull this card, of course, because I did a group order for Exist, but I didn't get to keep him, so nice to have him back. Um, and then we have Bekkeni's um, Lotto Chinese version card. Um, so here he is. I've also been like really back into my manga collecting right now because I'm at home. Like Basically, how this works for me is that I don't really read manga if it's not on my phone at school and manga is really hard to read on your phone honestly because like webtoons are made to be read on your phone so the text is normally bigger and stuff but with manga you have to like zoom in a lot and it's just kind of a pain in the ass so I prefer to just read in print um, and I really only get new volumes when I'm at home on breaks and then when I am at home on breaks the volume of volumes that I get is extremely accelerated um, so yeah, I, I've been a bit busy catching up on all my favorite series. Um, it's been really fun. <laughs> um, I did decide to add um, Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie to my collection because I loved that anime so much. Um, <laughs> I just thought it was like really endearing. And um, I love pathetic men. This is a little common trend, trend in most of the manga that I own is that they're all losers. Um, really fulfills the soul actually <laughs> and my women are always badass and that's the way that I like it okay um and yeah I I'm just I love the art in Shikimori so much like the artist does an incredible job I love I love their style so much it's like so expressive and like the outfits are always so top tier and it's just like very feel-good vibes so I'm very happy that I've been adding that one to my collection um, and then one of my favorite series is finally getting a print in English, which is How I Met Your Soulmate. So I've started to get that now, which is really cool. Um, and I'm also finally catching up on Apothecary Diaries. So lots of fun for my manga, which I'm really into. Um, if you ever want some recommendations, <laughs> I really only read romance. Um, but this is Jehan's Weaver's card for why. <laughs> um, I really only read romance. Um, and I only read romances that are, like, tasteful. <laughs> like, I don't fuck around with an age gap. Disgusting. Generally, don't do, like, too much drama in my series. I kind of tend to, like, more, like, slice of life for the most part. I love a few toxic series, like Yakuza Fiance. Love that shit. It's horrific, but it's good. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're into romance, <laughs> I'm always willing to drop a recommendation. Um, but... <laughs> Then we finally have an exciting acquisition here. I have Chang's Hive Insight Daydream Believer entry ticket thing. And like, to be honest, this was such bullshit because promos were not included in the <laughs> Korean exhibit, but they were in the Japanese one. Tell me why exactly. Like, 
I don't even know if this includes... Yeah, it just says BTS17, TXT, and Hyphen, and La Seraphim. Like the fuck? <laughs> Why not include actually all of your fucking groups in the exhibit? Like, why did they come in and do this whole photo shoot if they're only going to be there for like an entry ticket? I don't know. Just pisses me off, but I have the card, so. <laughs> uh, but my final item, probably the most exciting one of this haul, is um, one of Chang's Lucky Draw prints from Unlock My World. I don't remember if this is Weverse or UMS, but it's one of the two for sure. Um, these are kind of like signed prints that you get for ordering a certain amount of albums that are like, not. it's not for ordering a certain amount of albums. It's like a, it's like a lottery print thing. I guess, yeah, so it's like a winner benefit. <laughs> um, and for some reason, for uh, FOM, they're like pretty easy to find, but for this era, they are really goddamn difficult <laughs> to find. And this one came back on sale after I'd only seen it on sale once before, so I was like, I'm just gonna get it. But I still have not seen the other one come back up, and honestly, I'm pretty annoyed that I didn't just get it when I first saw it, which is like not good a good mindset to have like I don't want to feel like if I don't get cards they're just gonna fucking disappear but because I'm collecting groups that are not so like <laughs> popularly collected um I mean like they're more popular but the collecting community is not like so active that it can be like hard to find some of these things after a little bit and these are giving me a headache so yeah um I do want to sleeve cards now though because I'm feeling chatty um so I hope you don't mind me doing that. <laughs> um, to continue talking about manga, <laughs> another series that I'm really excited is in print. Uh, finally is Tamon's B-Side, which is like an idol expand <laughs> manga, which is like, you know, kind of a toxic trope. <laughs> Let's not lie. And like, I don't want to... I don't want to be in that situation personally, but um, it's like, it's kind of also a comedy, I would say. Like, it's really unserious um, and like really fucking funny. It's kind of like a play on how people talk about how idols like fake their personalities and have these like stage personas, but takes it to like a thousand percent extreme. So of the like members of the group so far that have been revealed they all have like these insane two-faced personalities for the male lead he's like really freaking like pathetic and um insecure and has like really low self-esteem um and then for one of the other members of the group that shows up he has like this like princely persona but then he's like this like rage monster <laughs> who just like loses it and, like is really violent um which like sounds insane but it's really funny to be honest um so I'm really enjoying that one like honestly my favorite like the other comedy that I really like is um Love is War but personally I think the anime is funnier than the manga <laughs> like I think the jokes translate better on screen with like the narrator and stuff um, and then my other favorite comedy, of course, is, um, Psyche K, um, <laughs> Psyche K, I miss every fucking day, the fact that they nerfed that show haunts me to my core, actually, I, I think that might be the show that I've rewatched the most <laughs> in, like, the entire world, and I wish I was kidding, but I'm not, <laughs> um, yeah, that is kind of, like, my, like, most, like, it's a show that brings me a lot of comfort, I guess I would say. I hate the term, like, comfort blank, because it's kind of gross to me. But that show is very comforting to me for some reason, just because it's, like, it'll always just give me a little chuckle. And sometimes you just need a little chuckle in this world, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, and then I also started Like a Butterfly, um, which is a series by Sue Morishita, who also... Um, they're like a artist writer duo that are also writing A Sign of Affection, which is one of my all time favorite series. Um, it's really hard to find series about like, like romances of like college students or kind of like older people. 
and like I kind of just have to cope with the fact that most of them are about high schoolers, but like, I'm an adult, you know, and like, I don't really want to read about <laughs> high schoolers all the time. So I really like it when I can find a good series that is about adults. <sighs> Where the fuck would they do that? Okay, annoying. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm a big fan of A Sign of Affection. Like Butterfly is a high school romance, but like, it's cute. So whatever. Um, I'm happy to have like something at least. <laughs> so I'll take what I can get. Um... If you do like like college or I guess no I think they're still in college or like in grad school but if you like kind of like more romances about adults then I would recommend um, How I Met My Soulmate because they are adults which we do in fact love to see um yeah so I don't know I'm I'm really like deep in my weeb era right now, I guess. I mean, I did just get back from a two week trip to Japan. So, you know, <laughs> maybe it kind of makes sense that I'm back on my shit. But <laughs> not that I really did all that much like weeby stuff in Japan. Like I went to the Ghibli Park and the Ghibli Museum, but that was kind of it. <laughs> like I was good, I was restrained. Throughout everywhere we went though, every time we passed Gachapon machines, I was hunting to see if I could spot a star rail one because there were like so many Genshin ones everywhere and I was like there's gotta be a star rail one fucking somewhere and then finally one day when we were walking in Kyoto <laughs> I saw a star rail gachapon and I stopped um who I was with uh and I was like guys you just gotta give me a moment I gotta do this right now I'll show you I know getting a gacha pawn for a gacha game is stupid, but I got this keychain of Branya. Um, we, I literally only had 300 yen, so it kind of worked out perfectly, but it was really exciting for me because I didn't see any other gacha star rail machines throughout the three different cities I went to. Um, so kind of a win that I even found that one. Um, I went to Tokyo for about a week and then Nagoya for about two days and then we finished the trip in Kyoto um, and it was a really really fun time and I'm really happy I went and <laughs> I know that like I haven't really traveled much since before the pandemic if at all besides like in the US um, yeah I haven't traveled outside of the US since 2019 so that was like really, really big and very exciting for me. Um, and I'm really, really happy that I went. <laughs> um, I do think within like the next few years, I will be able to travel more, which is really nice because I'm going to do my study abroad um, next school year. And I might be able to travel this summer <laughs> uh, and just various other opportunities like that are sort of coming my way. So yeah, but travel is something that's really important to me. So I'm really happy that I'm kind of able to do it more now again. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, but obviously study abroad will provide me a lot of travel time, which is really, really nice. Um, I'm planning on studying abroad in Germany. Um, I don't, I feel like I've talked about this before, so, um, <laughs> I don't know how much really new information this is, but I'm a dual German citizen, so <laughs> it's really convenient for me to study abroad there. Um, and yeah, I've been learning German for the past few years, and it's something I'm really <laughs> excited to be able to do. Uh, so very much looking forward to that. But a bonus of being in Europe and being an EU citizen is that you can get around to other countries very easily. So <laughs> like my my friends uh one of my closest friends is going to be in spain at the same time that i'm in germany and we're already like conspiring <laughs> of how we can like go back and forth to each other and stuff and yeah it, i'm just very excited for it all <laughs> um i think it will be a really great time to be able to do stuff like that so yeah um let's see I'm trying to organize these cars this one goes here here uh, these three, these two, boom, boom. Okay, <laughs> and that is the end of this video. All my cards have been organized. I don't know how I did that while yapping. That was kind of crazy. 
uh, but <laughs> my brain really is just so big, so <laughs> I'm just, I'm just too talented, guys, like, I'm sorry, um, <laughs> she does one multitask, and she, her ego inflates by 2,000%, um, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this, uh, kind of chatty, stupid-ass video, um, I had a fun time filming it, so hopefully you have a fun time watching it, <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, if you stuck up to this point, I really hope you enjoyed I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope that I'll see you again soon. Bye. Oh.